Having the perfect turkey for Thanksgiving isn't that hard, but almost every method to a perfect turkey involves some kind of brine. In this case, I'm going to go with a gallon and a half of water, a cup of salt, and then whatever seasonings you have laying around that'll help put some flavor deep down in that meat. That meat for me today is going to be a butterball turkey, and it's a monster. I've always had a lot of success with Butterball, and so that's why I'm sticking with them this year. To get this turkey ready for brining, we cut the package open, remove all of the innards. We're gonna place this turkey in a bucket, a five gallon bucket, food safe bucket is recommended, but you do whatever you need to in order to get the job done. After 24 hours of brining, it's time to go ahead and spatchcock this bird. If you've never spatchcocked a turkey or a chicken before, I have a video on just how to do it. But basically what you're gonna do is cut the spine out of the back of the bird, staying narrow to the actual spine itself. That way we can lay the turkey or chicken down flat and it's gonna help make sure that the meat all cooks evenly. Otherwise dark meats tend to cook at different rates than white meats and you don't want that. We covered brining, we covered spatchcocking, now it's time to inject this bird and it's going to be a very simple solution. I'm melting two cups of unsalted butter and I'm mixing it with one juice box of apple juice. Going in a grid pattern, I'm going to try to make sure I get very even coverage all over the place including the legs and thighs. I like to use something on a turkey or chicken in order to get the rub to stick. Sometimes the rub just doesn't like to stick to the skin, so I go ahead and put a base on. In this case, it's gonna be yellow mustard. You'll never taste any flavors from it at all. However, it does do a great job at holding the rub. Now you're going to get your smoker up to somewhere between 225 and 250. Let it burn so it's clean, thin blue smoke, and it'll be time to put this bird on the grill. I'm using my 48 inch Lone Star offset smoker. I take the top rack out, put the bird in, and then I'm going to make sure I top off any areas that might need a little additional seasoning. Two hours in and about to take the temperatures up to 275 but before we do that let's go ahead and spritz with some apple cider vinegar you can still knock the rub off if you spritz this too hard so I'm gonna make sure I'm on a spray setting like that and so the spritzing will help the, the bird take on more smoke It'll also help crisp the skin up.
a little over five hours. Let's see where we are. Man, that looks amazing. Look at that, 164. Eh, 161. This is always the, the hardest decision, is trying to decide when to take the meat off the smoker. Uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and pull it after about five minutes or so. That one side was at 161. The government says 165 is where we wanna be with uh, poultry. Um, carryover is about five degrees, so I think it would carry over into that uh, 166 area. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and take it up to the 165 and then I'll pull it, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in my oven in the house, oven off, door just cracked, and just let it rest for about an hour and a half, and then we'll slice it up. Guys, make sure you watch all the way to the end. This bird turns out phenomenal. What a great cook. This turkey turned out absolutely amazing. Make them talk about your turkey this year. Make sure you follow these general easy steps and I guarantee you, you're gonna have an absolutely phenomenal turkey just like this. Let's give this a taste. Get a little piece of this breast meat here. Just a wonderful smokiness. For breast meat, it doesn't get any juicier than that. Look at that dark meat. What a smoke ring. Let's see how this dark meat tastes. The dark meat's where it's at, I'm telling you. Oh my gosh. That dark meat, oh my gosh. It has just a hint of smokiness, not as much as the breast, but it has more overall flavor, and it's tender and juicy out of this world. You can't go wrong if you follow the steps in this video. If you really wanna benefit the channel and help me make more videos, the best thing you can do is like this video, leave a comment down below, and then most importantly, share it with someone or share it on your social media wall or your Reddit wall. It'll mean a lot of traffic and it'll help me grow the channel, spread the love of barbecue to more people. I hope you guys have an awesome Thanksgiving and I can't wait to see you on the next video.